If you sell candles in your print on demand store and are looking for a way to completely automate the mock up process and speed up your listing process so much, then you're going to love Simply Listed, the new mock up automation software. This is a software where you will create a template for your candle one time, and then you will use that template to create tons of different mock ups in just seconds. So, first, I'll show you a quick tutorial of what that looks like in action once you've already completed it so that way you can see the end and the magic and then I will go through a step-by-step -step tutorial and show you how to actually build this but while you're watching if you want to follow along I will put a link down in the description for a seven-day free trial and you do get 20 free mock-ups that you can create with us while you're doing the free trial if you don't absolutely love it at any time you can come to this my account page and actually cancel your subscription during the free trial so I hope that you check it out and you love of it. But so like I said, I built this template once already and let me show you what it looks like when you're ready to create mockups for it. So what you'd do is you'd upload your designs to Printify. So in this case, I uploaded, I think, five different designs to Printify, put them on the candle, and then I published them to Etsy as a hidden draft. The only reason I do that is because I don't want them to see it before it has its mockups. So I'll show you that over here. Um, so before it has its mockups, I like to upload it and just leave it as is with the Printify mockups. So then once you've uploaded it to Printify and published it to Etsy, you come here to Simply Listed and we'll make the mockups for you. So you click this button, it's going to pull up all of your Printify products and you could make mock-ups for one listing or you could even make mock-ups for 30 different candles, 100 different candles all at once. And that really is the power of this software. So I'm going to make up mock-ups for these five designs here that I already uploaded onto Printify. So I'm going to click that. And the other feature that's really amazing about Simply Listed is we will make these mock-ups for you. But not only that, we will actually take those images and turn them into a slideshow video for you. So I'll show you what that looks like in one of the listings that I already created. So it'll turn those images into a slideshow video on your listing. So you don't have to create an Etsy listing video at all. We do this automatically for every single mock-up we create. The other option is you can actually click this button and upload your own video instead. So if you have a video you like to include in all of your listings that isn't of the actual images in this particular listing, you can also upload your own if you'd rather. But let's take a look at those mockups now that they are created. So here you can see it grab the design from Printify and put it in the exact same spot here on these candle mockups. So you can see kind of what that looks like. It includes all the other photos I want. And then once it loads, you will see the video here on the last page. But what's nice is you don't have to wait for the videos to be made before you publish these to Etsy. So you can click select all and just publish them, which I don't know if I published all of these. And this is going to publish all of those mockups directly over to our Etsy listing. So we'll come back over here and you'll be able to see these start uploading right here in my test mockup store. So yep, you see those coming over. So now you're seeing all of those come over and you'll see the videos come over in a moment as well. And so just that quickly, you can completely automate this process and this will save you so much time when it comes to actually getting your designs up and for sale in your store. So yeah, that's just about done. That one's just the finishing one and then we'll be finished. So let's start walking you through the actual listing process or the template process to create that template one time that you can do the process I just showed you with. Now there's going to be two different versions of this and it really depends on what types of designs that you make for your candles. The first type of design is going to be one that you put on a white background. This is going to be by far the easiest way to make mock-ups because the candles come with a white label. So you can buy mock-ups that already have white labels. If you want to do kind of like a colored background or a textured background, then you're going to need a different kind of mock-up, which I'll show you where to get each of these. For the regular white label mock-ups, I say that 
actually Etsy is a really great place to come. One of my favorite places that I've gotten them from is Moonlit Mockups. They have some really cute front ones for about $3. As so you can see here, it already has the white background for you. And she even included some of these extra little photo cards that give information about the candles for free. So for only $3. And so this one is one of my favorites. And the nice thing about the white background mock-ups for the candles, if you're just doing the white backgrounds on your candles, is when you look through bestsellers on Etsy, a lot of them just have a plain white background behind your design anyways, but plenty of them do have colored or uh, picture backgrounds as well. So totally up to you, but the white background is going to be the simplest. So if you're doing a white background, then the one thing you need to know about your designs is you do need to save them as a transparent background. So you'd say PNG, and I'm just in Canva. This is what I use to make all my designs. I will put a 30-day free trial for Canva in the description. If you don't do print on demand yet, don't make designs, that's where I actually create all of my designs. So you'd click transparent background and save, say, page two, for example, and save it. So then that way, when you're looking at this file, it doesn't have this white background from the canvas, um, you don't need that because the label on the candle is already white. Now, if you're saving one like this, then you do need to save this as a PNG, but not a transparent background. So say page three, but you do not select transparent background. So it just depends. If you're doing a white background, make sure you do a transparent background on your design. If you are including a background, then don't. So those are the two things you need to know about actually saving the files. Now, let me show you the mock-ups that you should use if you actually do kind of like a colored background like this. The ones that I've gotten are actually from creativefabrica.com. That's one of my favorite places to get graphics and kind of random mock-ups for products like this, fonts. Um, they have really great specials that you can get sometimes for like 50 bucks for the entire year. And I will link a 10 free download coupon down in the description if you want to just try them out and get some candle mock-ups. These ones right here I thought were really great. You can just type in nine ounce scented soy candle mock-up and these should come right up. These are by Digi Craft It Designs. I got this one and then I also got this one with the lights. But the reason why you need these ones is because they are Canva mock-ups, which means instead of this white label like it looks like here, it's actually going to be a cutout with a hole right there. And so I'll show you why, but I hope that makes sense on which mock-ups you'll need depending on the way that you make your designs. So coming back over to Simply Listed, the first thing we need to do is click Create New Template. And Printify, again, is the only people we connect with right now, but give it a few weeks and we will offer the custom mock-ups no matter who you're doing um, your printing with or even if you're doing digital downloads. So stay tuned for that. And then here you will find your candle or your product that you're making your mockups for. You do have to tell it what the provider in the size is, but with this one, there's only the two options. And then you're going to upload some of your mockups. So first I'll show you the mockups that you'll use if you are making it with a transparent background first. So I'll upload those two first and show you how that works. And then I'll show you the tutorial of how to do the cutout different background, because if you have a background image to yours, then it won't be quite the same. So again, I'll show you both. Um, I will also put timestamps down below. If you're not going to do white background mockups, you can skip to the next little part. So all you need to do here is click this print area button to add the print area from Printify. Again, this is going to match exactly the print area on Printify. So over here, it's going to be this 900 by 600 pixels because we are going to pull this exact design file from Printify and put it onto those mockups. So you are going to tell that this is a little bit wider than what this mockup actually is. And you know, this mockup's kind of zoomed out, so I am going to actually zoom in on it. So I'm gonna click the background and reposition that a little closer because this is gonna be my thumbnail image. So I probably would want this to take up quite a bit more of this image. So that's probably a little bit better. And you do need to click apply background or it'll zoom back out. All right, so now I'm just gonna try and cover this 
whole label and you might need to overlap it a teeny tiny bit. If you can't quite see it, you can turn this really transparent just so you can see through it for a second. I'm gonna make that a tiny bit bigger. Just wanna cover the whole label. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn the transparency up to about like 92%. I like to turn the transparency down on the print files just a smidge so that the design looks like it's a little bit more real than a super bright digital design, if that makes sense. And then the other thing that you can do if you want to, if your design might go a little bit more side to side, then you might need to crop your print area a little bit. So you could click this crop button twice and you could crop this over to the edge of that label, but hopefully you won't really need to do that. And anytime you crop anything with Simply Listed, you do need to click this reposition button and make sure that it is centered in the right spot because it might not center it exactly for you once you've cropped something. So click apply. So then what's really nice is you can even click copy on this print area and then you can paste it onto the next one just so you don't have to also lower the opacity or crop it. Uh, but this one looks like it needs to be maybe a smidge bigger because it's kind of an odd angle. So I'm going to make this a little bit more transparent. And you just want to cover that whole label there. So maybe something like that. But again, that's why this one is specifically only for if your design is going to have a white label. Otherwise, you can see how this is going to overlap and be on top of the candle if it's not a transparent design. So let's try that first, okay? So I'm going to save this as candle mock-up, and I'm going to show you with testing this one what that looks like because I want this to make sense. Anytime you make a new template with us, I do recommend hitting these three dots and hitting test. And so let's say you are doing a design like this where it is a transparent PNG. So again, I didn't save a white background. It's the words with a transparent background that I uploaded to Printify that has a white label. So let's test it and see how these look. So it does look like the text looks like it's on the white label. This one I might need to make a tiny bit smaller actually because you see the text is kind of overlapping. And not every mock-up is going to be created equal for these types. You know, it is going to be some trial and error and finding the exact right ones that make sense for your files and what you sell. So I'm going to put this one a little bit smaller here in the center and see if that looks a little bit more realistic. I'm going to resave that and retest it. And then again, after this, I will do one that has the other kind of background so you can see the differences and what that looks like. So let that test load. And yeah, now I think the second one looks quite a bit better. So when I zoom in there, it looks like the text is actually on the label because I made it a little bit smaller. So it might take some kind of testing and uh, coming back and forth, but then it should be all set. Now let's make an example for the designs that have a background color or background image. Now these ones, we need to do something a little different because we have to make a sandwich with our mockups where we're gonna have, say, the image of the candle, and then behind it, you're going to see the actual image. Let's see, show you here, see how it's see-through? You're gonna see your candle design behind it. And so to make sure these line up perfectly, your best bet is going to be actually making them the exact same size as each other. So I brought this mock-up that I got from Creative Fabrica into Canva, and I put it on a 2700 by 2700 canvas. Now, if you don't want to have to zoom in your mock-ups very much once you get it to Etsy, since this is my thumbnail image, I'm going to make the candle take up most of the actual front image here. And then I'm going to save this file two different times. I'm going to save it once, as a JPEG file for just page one. And then I'm going to save it once as a transparent PNG. So the JPEG file is going to go in back and then the transparent background, the one with the cutout, I'm going to put on top of our print area so it looks like it's behind it. If that doesn't make sense just yet, don't worry, it definitely will. So let me make sure that downloads. And then we'll save that one more time, but this time as a transparent background for that same mock-up image. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. And then we'll bring that over to our Simply Listed.
Now we're going to make a template for a candle that needs that cutout. So again, this is for the ones that have kind of a colored background or a textured background. So we'll start over again, select Printify. We'll do the soy candle. We'll choose our print provider and our variant. There was only two options, but this time when we choose our file, we're gonna upload the JPEG versions of our mockups. Now you can upload as many of these all at once as you want, but I'm just doing one for this example and clicking save. And now it's going to create us a new template with that one as the background. Now we're doing the JPEG as the background because we're going to make a sandwich with our mockups, which I'll show you in a second. So we're going to add our print area on top. Now I'm going to lower the transparency a lot just so I can see what I'm doing. And you're going to cover this little candle label. Try and make sure you cover all of the corners. And then once you're sure you're covering all the corners and it's centered as best as you can, you can raise this up to a normal like 92%-ish. And then all we have to do last left is add the image of the cutout version of the mockup. So clicking here and click upload. I'm going to add this to center instead of replacing the background because I want it to be added on top of what I've already created, creating kind of a mockup sandwich. So I've got the JPEG in the back, the print file, and then the PNG version. And because I made this the exact same size as that image in Canva, I don't have to move this around at all. So it's already sized the right size. I do recommend doing that. And then obviously you can add more pages and make any other pages that you want. But in this example, you know, you could upload any of the other kind of like information cards that you wanted to include in your listing. So I'll just upload a couple of those, but you'd also add any other mockups, creating them the exact same way that I just showed you. So nice and easy, but we'll add these couple other pages so our template is more complete. And then we'll save this and test it. So again, this one might be um, colored background candles. You can name it whatever you like but it does need a name and then click save. So now let's test this template and we'll click uh, test button. So we always wanna test it. And again, we're testing for ones that have colored backgrounds. So let's test this one and see how it turned out. See if it looks good or if we need to make any adjustments, but hopefully you're enjoying this tutorial so far and this is going to help you automate your process so much. So yeah, it looks like I might need to move my design over a tiny bit, uh, but other than that, I think the mock-up turned out really good. I think it looks really nice compared to um, what it looks like on Printify. So on Printify here, that's why my design's a little high because that's how I have it in Printify as well. And so that might be, I maybe should have lowered my design when I created it, but overall that is what it's supposed to look like. So if we want it to be a little bit more to the right, I could click edit. And when you come in here, I'll show you how to know which um, layer you're editing. So if you click here, this little layered elements button will pop up and then you can come select the print area. And now, yep, I see that it's not quite centered. I'm going to move it a tiny bit more to the right and click save. And then we'll retest that to make sure that we like it. Because if it might take a time testing it or two to get it just the right spot but then once you do this once this is the only time you need to create this template after that you can just keep reusing it for every design you make which is going to speed up your listing process so much and yep there we are all done with a nice creative fabrica mock-up our design is on here now the test mock-ups aren't full resolution so again when you're ready to actually create the mock-ups after testing your template you just click the template or you can click this little paper clip and then now you select the Printify product and click Create Mockup. Now, if you click a template and you don't see anything in here, that means that there's no Printify products that match, in which case you want to make sure you made it for the right brand and the right print provider because this template does need to match. Exactly. So now here is the full resolution version of the mockup. And so you can see it here. 
this is what it looks like. So nice and easy. If you add a couple more pages to this, you could make as many mock-ups as you want for your candles in literally just a few seconds and publish them directly to your Etsy store or download them directly. So comment down below if you have any questions at all about candle mock-ups, but I hope that this was super duper helpful.